Hello, as part of this video, I will be talking about agile planning technique called story maps. Whenever we conceptualize a product, we have to take end user experience into consideration. If products are built around efficient end user experience, the probability for the product being marketable, for the product being accepted is pretty pretty high. Story maps exactly helps us. It keeps end user experience at its center and provides guidance on how the subsequent agile planning events can unfold on top of this. At the end of this session, you will learn what is story map, story maps, its anatomy, how to construct a story map, how to derive scope for releases and the benefits. Story map or user story mapping is a technique developed to organize and prioritize user stories. The anatomy is twofold. It has a backbone that is list of essential activities the application supports. It has a walking skeleton that is the it is a software that we build that support the least number of necessary tasks across the full span of user experience. So if you see here, the backbone is as right at the top. Without these features, we can't deliver the product. The walking skeleton is the, the bare minimum necessary features that are necessary to support the backbone listed features to the user. And then you see the necessity is means highly, highly optional features are towards the bottom, less optional that is mandatory features are towards the top. Let's take an example. You all know Facebook, right? As a user, what you want to do? You first want to sign up. Okay. And then you want to change your settings. Then you want to do a create a post and you want to send friend request. You want to associate with certain groups. You wanted to go to your home and see what are your posts, what are others posts. You want to send messages and you want to exit. So what are we doing? We are just asking the end user, look, I am having a product. I am going to conceptualize this. So can you please tell me how you want to navigate in the product that I'm going to build? So at the time of conceptualization, either end user or a representatives of end user community will come and tell, look, with your product, I want to do these, 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 these things. This is how I wanted to um, flow through the product. So that is uh, on the top side. So sign up, settings, post, friends, request, groups, home, message, exit is on the top. Now, less optional features, for example, sign up. The new user registration is the minimum that we want to do. Existing user need to log in. There's a minimum we need to do. Okay. Maybe forget my password. Maybe I can uh, position it towards, you know, uh, less optional. Okay. Language supportability. For example, I want the Facebook to be supported in languages like English, Hindi, Denmark, Dutch, Telugu, Hindi, all those these languages. Okay. So, in the in the order of optionality that means more optional features are towards the bottom less optional features are towards the top like this each of user requested feature or component is elaborated so as part of the story map what are we doing on the top which is an x axis we basically uh, position how user want to navigate through the system on the y axis bottom y axis we basically keep less optional features towards the top, more optional features towards the bottom, and we will try to unfold the features necessary to support what user wanted to do with the system. So in this way, if you take settings, password change, name and language, deactivating account, privacy settings, who can add to my timeline. Similarly, post, create post, edit or delete post, restrict visibility, upload videos or photos, who should see my post, all those things. Like this, if you see, 
on the top you have user requested features on the bottom we keep on elaborating the features or stories necessary to help build those features that user is actually expecting so and these features are ordered less optional or mandatory features are towards the top more optional of features are towards the bottom so this is how we conceptualize who will provide inputs is end user if end user is not available in front of us we will take a representative who can represent end user community uh, aspirations with our product and we basically engage them in building this product now now after this story map is being signed up we basically then figure out okay for my first release okay this is my walking skeleton the top one and these list of features are mandatory so backbone is sign up settings post friend request groups home message exit these are the backbone of features that i want to offer in my first release this is this these are the minimum features the user expects and to fulfill those features the tasks or user stories or in the top green bar here new user registration existing lo user login password change name and language create post edit delete search view friends like this in this ribbon whatever you are seeing those are my walking skeleton so combined with i say okay for my first release this is the scope then second is less optional means as part of my first release whatever is mandatory i have got able to deliver as part of my second release i go with less optional as part of my third release i'll go with even more less optional as part of my fourth release i will go even with even more additional features so like this i want to make sure that keeping end user experience into consideration keeping what end user wants out of my product into consideration i want to conceptualize the product and then i wanted to add stories to fulfill what user wants and then i wanted to come up with okay here is my backbone here is my walking skeleton together i wanted to identify the scope for my primary release and then in subsequent releases less option features um, i can target to release so that my product is intact i can take end user experience at any point in time after the release one we can actually seek the end user feedback on the actual product and then we can accommodate their feedback also so that we can accordingly uh, prioritize so the benefits you are seeing here is user experience is inbuilt right from the first we provide visibility to the workflow or value chain everybody on the floor not only the end user but also the the team on the ground can have a visibility of the workflow and value chain we are giving to the customer and we bring out relationship of larger stories and their component stories we help the team understand the completeness of backlog we provide a basis for prioritization we plan releases as complete and valuable slices of functionality for mixing the business value so with this i wanted to appreciate your interest to learn thank you